So today I'm going to be building an automatic water for these pheasants. I've got a thousand pheasants and they're just drinking a lot more water than um, I kind of thought. They're drinking about 10 to 15 gallons a day. So I'm just going to give them the option of getting their own water. Uh, I have this reservoir here, which is a plastic tub and it's kind of dark in there, but um, there's a fitting on the inside with a rubber washer on the outside. It's uh, actually for a washing machine or a dryer or something, the guy told me. But um, it's just PVC, connects to a couple different angles and it gets down to kind of their level. And I'll show you the inside in just a second. So then it comes up and into the pen where it's gonna go all the way around the outside of the pen and it should give them lots of opportunity to peck at it and be curious and figure out that water comes from there and then they'll learn on their own actually. For the PVC on the inside, this is actually upside down. It's supposed to be going, these are little nipples, they'll be going downward. But um, what I'm doing is I'm just uh, drilling 3 8 holes and then screwing in these little uh, watering nipples, they're pretty cheap, I just got them off Amazon. They got little ru um, steel ball bearings in them. And when they peck at them, not very good lighting, but when they peck at them, uh, the water drips down, kind of like a rabbit drinker. Here's kind of a trial run. I'm just kind of seeing if these things leak. And um, I had too big a drill bit the first time, but went to a smaller drill bit and now they're starting to peck at them, they're not leaking, they're getting some water, and I'm going to continue, just kind of keep going with it. need to get some more uh, hangers for the PVC, but for right now, just kind of seeing how it works. Alright, I finally got my water system figured out, I think. It's got a, let's see if I can get this off one hand. It's got a hose connected to the mountain that goes straight to the pump it's just a float inside there and so every time the water goes down it fills back up kind of see it by just messing with the float right there and I got the lid on it because it gets a little dusty in here and it just keeps the water a little bit fresher comes out of the bottom of the tote and goes around then they have little drinkers, those little screw in nipples that go all the way around and they're about bird high. I haven't gone all the way around the whole thing yet just because um, I'm still kind of getting them used to it. Still putting out some extra drinkers in case they do decide that they want to drink out of them too. Raised up all the lights. Um, Started adding some uh, bigger feeders too because they're going through food like crazy. I got one, two, three in here right now. And I also just uh, lightly misted them with, um, I bought uh, just a Roundup sprayer, but it's just filled with water, which is a hand pump sprayer. And I went around and lightly misted them. Uh, this gets their feathers used to the water and it produces oils. So in case of a rain, they'll have some oils to protect them. and. Um, it's just a little bit more natural development for them. Overall, they're doing pretty good. These birds are just about four weeks old right now. And they're getting a lot bigger. He's cleaning himself off from just skin a little water on him, which is good. And they were drinking a little bit earlier, but taking a break. They love to peck at feet. 